Question 18 says calculate 560 times 28. So this is a bit of long multiplication. And we're going to use the magic zero method, which will become clear in a moment. So first of all, this is how you need to set it out in the correct columns. And you're going to need three lines of working out. So on the top line, we're going to times the 560 by the number of units, which is eight. So we're going to do eight nothings, eight sixes, and eight fives in that order. So eight lots of zero is zero. Eight lots of six is 48. Put your eight and carry the four. Eight lots of five is 40, plus the four is 44. So we've got 4,480. On the second line, we're going to do 560 times by this 2. But remember, this 2 doesn't actually mean 2. It's in the tens column. So 2 tens is actually 20. So we're not times by 2. We're actually times by 20. And this is where the magic 0 comes in. Because if you're multiplying by 20, you can put the magic 0 in first. That 0 there is the magic 0. And once you put the magic zero in, multiply everything else by two. And that will have the same effect as multiplying by 20. So we're going to do two nothings, two sixes, two fives in that order. So two nothings are nothing. Two sixes are 12. Put your two in, carry your one. Two fives are 10, plus that one is 11. So 560 times 20 is 11,200. All we need to do now on the final answer is add the two answers together. This answer and this answer. If we add them together, we'll get our overall final answer. So 0 plus 0 is 0. 8 and 0 is 8. 4 and 2 is 6. 4 and 1 is 5. Notice I ignored this little digit here because that was part of my earlier calculation and that has already been included. So 4 and 1 is 5. And then one on the end is one. So the final answer is 15,680. And that's the magic zero method.